Welcome to this series of videos on tools that can help you improve your study in reading, writing, and organization. Why should you start thinking about using some digital tools? Well, there are many reasons, but first, they can help you make the process of reading easier, both in terms of how much you can read, how easily you read it, and also how well you comprehend what you are reading. They can help you get more writing done, take better notes. Also, they can make the process of referencing, which is so important for academic writing, much easier. And finally, they can help you organize your studies better as well. Now, this should not be just a matter of watching a few videos. This should be a pro long process of reflection and improvement. So as you watch the videos, you will be given a menu of options, things you can choose from. But then you will have to sit down and reflect on what actually might work for you, which things that w you think would improve your life, and allocate some time to that decision and choosing the right, uh, right tools. But in the long term, you should practice, you should dedicate some time to improving the way you use these digital tools and reflect on how they actually improve the way you're studying and maybe decide that some of them are not improving and make decisions about changing them or uh, not using them at all. Now the tools you will be presented with uh, are fall into one of three categories. They fairly low investment tools where you just may just install a piece of software. But there are also things that require medium investment where you may have to spend quite a bit of time learning how to best use something, for example, a referencing manager. But there are also high investment tools, high investment suggestions, where you may have to significantly change the way you, you approach some parts of your studies. You may decide you may have to uh, make some purchases. You may decide that you may have to sort of change your strategies and your routines uh, with which you study. Now, we will cover for six areas uh, on reading, note-taking, writing, referencing, organization, and workflows. This is not the only place where you can learn about these things, so where can you go to learn more? So first, there is a database associated with this video that you can find a link to that it covers all the tools mentioned here with brief descriptions and, uh, and categorization. You'll find also the Learning Productivity and Study Skills support site has many more resources, both internal and external, that you can draw on. And uh, one of the places where you should definitely think about going is LinkedIn Learning, which is available to all Oxford University students. And you can find out on the El Paso site, Learning Productivity and Study Skills site, by going to the Learn More link and reading about how to access it, and also uh, maybe take advantage of some of the recommended courses that uh, cover mostly uh, questions to do with Microsoft Office, but there are also many other useful tools that you, can, you will find beneficial. Uh, there are other places where you can go. You can, uh, subscribe to various blogs or podcasts or follow YouTube channels that cover study skills and particularly tools for study. So there are many of these, those and there, they're again linked in that learn more section there. So this is just by way of introduction. In the next video, we're going to have a deeper look at the various tools you can use to improve your reading.